Hi everyone, it's Julie. I am going to show you how to apply false lashes today. And I'm still sick, as you can hear, so um, excuse my old lady voice. Okay, so I've already curled my lashes and I applied a coat of mascara on the top and bottom. Um, next, I'm going to use my favorite lashes, Salon Perfect, Perfectly Natural, and they're 110. To get them off the um, package, just pull them, use your fingers and just pull away so you don't damage them. And the way you can tell whether this is for the right eye or the left eye is um, there's one side of the lash is shorter than the other. So I've got um, just tweezers holding it up. So as you can see, this side is shorter than that side. So the side that's shorter goes towards the inside of your eye. Um, next, you do wanna have some tweezers. I don't recommend using pointy ones like I use. Um, <laughs> my dogs are fighting. Well, they're wrestling. What you'd wanna do is next, bring it up to your eye and size it. Um, I wear these a lot, so I know how much I have to cut off. So not everyone's eyes are the same size, so you wanna shorten it. Um, and you always wanna cut from the longer side and not the shorter side. So I'm just gonna use some scissors, my Sally Hansen scissors, and I'm just gonna trim off. The shorter they are, the easier they are to apply. So if you're a beginner, then um, you know, don't be afraid to take off um, more, a little bit more, because it's gonna be easier for you to apply if you're not used to applying them. Um, next, I'm just gonna use my Revlon Lash Adhesive. This is the best lash adhesive um, that you can get that I like. It's latex-free, it doesn't bother your eyes, and it just goes on really clean, and it allows you to reuse the lashes multiple times because it doesn't get the lash all gooey. Um, so you want to put just a thin line, see if I can get this right up to the screen. You just want to put a thin line of glue on the lash. Um, I always put a little bit more on the ends because that's where you have the most problem with the lash lifting and not sticking. And now you're just going to give, give it a chance for the glue to get gooey. If I were to put this right on my eye right now, it wouldn't stick. And I So now I'm going to apply it to my eye. And what you want to do is put it on the outside corner first. Just get it in the right position and use... Um, you should really use the back of this since it's not pointy. Use the back of your tweezer and hold it down in the corner. And then once it's down on the outside, do the same thing. Or the end. Okay, so that's one. I probably should have made it a little bit shorter. Because your eyelashes are so little towards the inside, it's hard to get them to stick. We'll do the same side, same for the other side. Let's put a line on top. This just makes the lash less um, obvious, the false lash. I just did a really bad job of that. Guys, I'm just going to just put a line of... And you can wing it if you want. Um, um, the last piece to false eyelashes is I like to put another coat of lash uh, mascara on after I applied the false lashes. So I like to use a really mascara that's very goopy and thick and a lot of product comes out on the brush, which, so I'm using All May. This is All May One Coat Nourishing Mascara in black. And I'm just gently running it over 
my lashes. And if you've put your lashes on correctly, they will not come off when you do this. And this just makes your natural lash and the false lash mold together so it doesn't look obvious again. And then just do the same thing on the other side. So yep, this is the final look. I probably wouldn't wear these lashes out at night because you probably want something more dramatic. But um, this is the look. I hope you like it. All right, guys. Have a good day.